Hello guys, uh, welcome to um, Semantic Backup Exec tutorial. Today uh, I'll be showing how to change the uh, the account or the uh, the login account or the service account for uh, for the backup resources and how to test uh, whether you have, whether we have enough permissions uh, to backup any particular uh, backup resource. To that, uh, we have to uh, log on to the backup exec user interface on the master server. And currently, this is my test environment where uh, I'm using a trial version of Semantic Backup Exec 2015 on Windows 2008 R2. So it will take a, a minute, maybe more than that, to uh, load the, the user interface. It's still loading the user interface, guys. So uh, let's wait. Let me quickly check the, uh, the task manager uh, resources. Okay, so uh, yeah, it should be up now. So we have uh, semantic backup exec user interface uh, up and uh, running now. Okay. So it's uh, retrieving the uh, the current configuration of uh, the semantic backup exec. So yes, this is the. Uh, I mean, this is how. Uh, a real-time environment will work okay for any customer uh, environment so okay so now uh, let's say uh, for that what you have to do is you have to click on backup and restore here on the top okay and um, let's see um, the job monitor okay this is my backup okay so currently the backup is running that's why I I can't edit that backup job so I'll go back here under backup and restore and I uh, select that particular server and I I have already uh, configured backup okay I just right click and click on edit so to test the permissions guys okay uh, once you have this backup job definition properties uh, window uh, popped up okay where it shows the uh, your the job name the job description and the, the server here this is the server when uh, it's my local server 
and it shows all the uh, the related resources like the C drive or the system state or whatever we have uh, depending upon the server profile and the application installed it will show uh, all these so what you have to do is you have to just click on test edit so so currently you can see these are the resources under the server the local c drive system state and and it can be uh, n number of servers depending upon your uh, backup job uh, configuration okay and the currently we are using a system login account is nothing but the uh, the local system account okay and it shows the credential state is a success success not tested success and you can check the last date is few of them recent and uh, for system state it's last month so uh, let's say if a backup job is failing with uh, a credentials issue so the first thing you have to do is you have to log on here okay and and you have to uh, test the credentials like you can test uh, all of them or you can test only a particular one let's say i'm selecting this microsoft sql and click on test selected so it's running the test it will take a couple of minutes and uh, and still it's giving the same this thing saying that not tested default only so what i'll do is uh, i'll click on test on now and let's see what output we will get so currently it's using system login account that is my default local admin account which i used uh, while uh, installing semantic backup exec So if you have uh, uh, multiple servers, you can click on test all or if you want to uh, perform uh, a particular server under the uh, uh, resources that are available, you can do it. Okay, so it shows success for uh, uh, the server level, the local C drive and the system state. Currently, it's not uh, checking for Microsoft SQL because uh, there is no SQL agent installed or uh, the local admin account is not a part of the SA group okay so this is how you will test once you have confirmation okay then you have to proceed to the next step all right so this is how you will test uh, the resources uh, whether they are past the uh, because whenever a backup job runs it will first check the credentials and then it will uh, proceed further so this is guys you will check how you this is how you will check the uh, uh, the, uh, the the backup resources uh, credentials test so uh, so guys stay tuned for more uh, videos my next video will be about a catalog uh, and also followed by advanced troubleshooting thank you so much for watching and have a nice day